How HIV Causes Disease Blood plays an important role in the body's immune system defense against germs and microorganisms and is composed of plasma, platelets, red blood cells, and white blood cells. White blood cells, also called leukocytes, constitute the main part of the immune system, protecting the body against disease-causing organisms and fighting off infection. There are five major types of white blood cells. Lymphocytes, or B cells and T cells, basophils, eosinophils, monocytes, and neutrophils. A type of white blood cell is the CD4 T cell lymphocyte, or helper cell, which acts to control and direct the immune response. The CD4 cell is an important cell in the immune system because it coordinates all the other immune cells. When HIV infection occurs, the virus targets these cells of the immune system. The virus attaches and gains entry into the CD4 cell and replicates itself or makes copies of itself. During this process, infected CD4 cells die and the HIV virus seeks out other CD4 cells to infect. The body is left in a weakened state of defense against infections and is susceptible to diseases. The lymphatic system extends throughout the body and is part of the body's immune system defense against infection. When HIV enters the body, it establishes itself in the lymphoid tissue. Circulating CD4 cells are targeted and infected by the HIV virus lying in wait. The result is that the CD4 cell count in the body decreases as infected cells are destroyed by the HIV virus. The characteristic feature of HIV infection is the decline in CD4 cells. As such, CD4 cell counts are commonly used to monitor the progress of HIV infection. However, declines in CD4 cells in the bloodstream can take several years to reach very low numbers. Healthy people have between 600 and 1200 CD4 cells in a cubic millimeter of blood. When CD4 cells reach low or very low levels in the bloodstream, patients are at risk for getting serious infections or cancers. These are called opportunistic infections because they take advantage of the body's weakened defenses. Once CD4 cells fall below a level of 200 cells per cubic millimeter in the bloodstream, or if a person has an opportunistic illness, this is considered an advanced stage of HIV infection, called Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, or AIDS. The most common opportunistic infections are pneumocystis pneumonia, a lung infection, Kaposi's sarcoma, a skin cancer, cytomegalovirus, a viral infection that usually affects the eyes, and candida, a fungal infection that can cause oral thrush, a white film in the mouth, or infections in the throat or vagina. Other AIDS-related infections include bacterial infections and viral infections. Bacterial infections include recurrent bacterial pneumonia, tuberculosis or TB, and Mycobacterium avium complex or MAC. Viral infections include hepatitis C and herpes simplex virus or oral and genital herpes. People living with HIV or AIDS are at a greater risk for certain cancers than people with healthy immune systems, notably colorectal cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma or NHL, and lung cancer. People living with HIV or AIDS may be at higher risk for developing primary and secondary cardiovascular disease. Non-modifiable risk factors are risk factors you can't do anything about. These include age, gender, ethnic origin, and socioeconomic position. Modifiable risk factors are risk factors you can do something about. These include smoking, hyperlipidemia, hypertension, diabetes, mental stress, stimulant drugs, legal or illegal, and occupational carcinogens. AIDS-related complications are ultimately how patients die from HIV infection in the absence of therapy. Treatment with antiretroviral therapy, or ART, can slow down the replication of HIV and partially restore healthier levels of CD4 cells and subsequently immune function in the body. 
However, HIV infection, especially at the advanced stages, leads to permanent or long-standing immune damage that does not fully recover with ART. HIV infection leads to fibrosis, or tissue remodeling, that causes damage to lymphatic tissue, which is unable to restore and maintain a population of CD4 cells, particularly in lymph nodes and gastrointestinal-associated lymphatic tissue, or GALT. HIV infection also triggers the immune system response, which results in chronic inflammation in the body. It is likely that the reduction of CD4 cells is caused by virus-induced self-destruction, as well as targeting by the body's own immune system cells. The consequences of chronic inflammation, despite effective suppression of HIV replication with ART, is an area of active research, but may lead to damage to multiple organs with increased risk for common diseases, such as neurological disorders, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, liver disease, kidney disease, and pulmonary disease.